when I first began my journey as a patient into the world of medicine in 2009, my blood work was never normal. Sometimes doctors would become alarmed and request I have the lab work done a second time to confirm the abnormal results. Often when the lab work came back a second time with irregularities, the physician would decide not to do anything. As the years have passed and my blood work has remained abnormal, doctors at medical centers would ask me if this electrolyte was ever high or that lab value was ever low. I would say yes. Every time I have lab work done, the lab value is abnormal. Once a doctor heard this, it was as if he was cleared from doing any additional follow-up. A note would be placed in my chart stating the abnormal lab value was a chronic issue. No further investigation would ever be done. When I was started on IV nutrition called TPN, I had to have lab work done every week to calibrate the TPN to my body's needs. Very quickly, abnormalities could be seen with every blood draw. The nurse I had would always say everything looked just fine. She was never concerned about anything. In May, I had blood work drawn a few hours before I decided to go to the emergency department when I was very ill with sepsis from a PICC line infection. The lab work which was done at the outpatient lab showed I had low white blood cells, low red blood cells, low platelets. My electrolyte levels were either too high or too low and my liver enzymes were quite elevated. Even with these very abnormal lab values, I was told everything looked just fine. Although I wanted to tell the nurse, no, the blood work was not good. I had sepsis, which can be seen by the very abnormal lab report. Instead, I held my tongue and remained silent. In July, I received a phone call from a new nurse. She introduced herself and said she would be taking over from my nurse. My nurse had too many patients and was giving some of her patients to this newly hired nurse. The nurse looked at my blood work. She immediately picked up on any abnormal lab value. She noted my blood sugar was low. She requested from my doctor I'd be started on IV dextrose when I was not infusing my TPN. The next time the nurse called, she noted my potassium and chloride have been constantly elevated. She asked if I ever received treatment for it. I said during one hospitalization, a doctor noted the abnormality and prescribed baking soda pills. My lab values corrected themselves. I was discharged home and the baking soda was discontinued. My lab values went back to being abnormal. The nurse told me my lab values looked as though I have metabolic acidosis. I should be begin taking an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda once a day. I complied with the nurse's orders. My lab values did not change. I took a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda. My lab values started trending in the right direction. The next time the nurse called, she told me to take a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda twice a day. During my next blood draw, my potassium and chloride went in the wrong direction and increased again. For the moment, I am still taking a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda twice a day. Next week, the amount of baking soda will most likely be increased. My nurse is unsure what may be causing the metabolic acidosis. I have issues with my kidneys, so they may be the culprit. But I also have mitochondrial disease, which is known to produce excess lactic acid, which in turn causes metabolic acidosis. I am not sure if the nurse will order additional lab work to figure out the cost of my metabolic acidosis. But for the moment, it is so nice to finally have my abnormal blood work investigated. Perhaps getting my lab work stabilized will help get me on the path to better health. Thank you 
so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.